So we are back from Huntsville, back in Houston. Now it is, I left like around seven o'clock, so it is currently like 8.40. So it took me about an hour and 40 minutes to get here. Not even an hour and 40 minutes, hour 20. I just had to get some stuff done. But I'm hungry. I'm not gonna eat yet. I'm sure this hunger will subside. Then we're gonna go get a workout. Then I have to go to the grocery store, then the gallery to pick up some more shoes. And uh, it's gonna be a good day. I will go to the gym like literally right now and get my workout and like uh, hit cardio in. But it's like, I wanna watch first take and first take starts at nine o'clock. So we're gonna have to wait for that. We're gonna leave to the gym, maybe like around 10 o'clock after I see what Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith say about like how uh, Draymond Green got suspended for talking, you know, trash to LeBron. And uh, just like the little foul hit. I just wanna see what they have to say, that's it. And then after that, I'm gonna hit the gym. Today is gonna to be chest and shoulders, or maybe just straight chest. I worked out triceps yesterday. I didn't really think it through. So I just could probably be chest and shoulders. Yeah, chest and shoulders today. Steps over it. And LeBron right in safe. Yeah, I would think it's slowing down. It's getting up. Okay, guys. It's time to head on to the gym. I'm taking a precautionary action right here by bringing this extra shirt because, man, like I said earlier, you guys worked out in the Alphalete gym. It just gets so, so humid and sweaty. And you gotta, like, just prepare yourself to get drenched in sweat. So I'm bringing this extra shirt here to wear after the workout because i'm going to go to the grocery store do some grocery shopping and then possibly go into the mall too as well to pick up the shoes so it's time to start this chest and shoulder workout now this one's gonna be a little bit different it's gonna be high intensity to where like in between each rep i'm gonna be doing something like explosive that requires more energy for me now so it's like not it's not like i'm just resting in between sets i'm not just standing around i'm making sure i'm moving my body and doing something to keep the blood going and just like keep my heart rate up so like i'm already breathing like this because i've already done a couple sets but we're doing like four sets of not too heavy bench moderate bench like 275 and then we're gonna drop down to 225 we're gonna do like eight reps and then after that it's like 10 to 12 reps with the 225 pounds and we're gonna superset that with some up downs some up downs you probably you guys have probably not seen this before but it's gonna be like a hit type of weight training day to day so let's get started know that pain like it hurts so bad it feels good when you're done doing it like I'm I'm hurting right now but I feel amazing after every single set I'm like breathing hard but I'm just like oh oh it feels so good it feels so good so like I'm drenched in sweat let me show you guys the damage that's happening right now as I'm talking to you guys this is the sweat that's falling off my body and let me try and let me try and show you guys look at this I'm, look, look at that see that sweat dripping as I'm talking to you guys ridiculous completely ridiculous Anyways, oh man, it's like sweat all over my body. Okay, so let me show you guys what we're doing next. Right now we're doing some shoulder lateral raises and we're gonna superset that with some um, jumps, but it's like the, there's gonna be a bench in the middle and you're doing side jumps. You're jumping to the side. And what I'm trying to focus on is I'm like trying to make myself levitated. Like I'm trying to act like I'm levitated off the ground and when I'm in the air, I'm trying to hold that as long as possible. So it's like basically tug jumps. And then when I touch the ground, as soon as I touch the ground, I'm getting back up and I'm trying to get into the air as quickly as possible. So I'm minimizing the time that is spent on the ground and I'm focused on being explosive. So let's get this started. We're doing some lateral raises, super set it with some jumps. Let's get this sweat going. Let's get started.
Next, we're moving on to a superset. It's gonna be some face pulls, and we're gonna superset that with some cable flies. Now, I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy in between each uh, the rest time for this workout, just because like I'm like burnt out right now. And I'm trying to get my heart rate back up to normal, and then like I'm gonna go back into it again after this superset. But like I said earlier, we're doing some face pulls, and we're gonna superset those some cable flies. So let's get it. Sweat is real right now, guys. Sweat's so real. <clears throat> Man. All right, guys, so we're finished up this workout by doing some machine ladder races, and then we're gonna do some uh, seated chest flies, and we're gonna call it a workout. I'm not gonna do any more, um, you know, like explosive type things in between anymore. I'm just gonna get on the uh, treadmill and do like 30 to 35 minutes of cardio and call it a workout. I'm done. Wrapped up cardio, uh, did 30 minutes, and the only way I was getting through cardio was because I was watching Naruto. So, 30 minutes right now, wrapped it up, can't even talk. So we just finished up 30 minutes of cardio, and uh, I have 45 minutes of cardio to do today, so I'm just gonna split that from 30 minutes today, uh, 30 minutes right now, and then like I would do 15 minutes like after the game, after game five tonight, so. I mean, I feel like 30 minutes in this kind of heat should count for like two hours of cardio. At least. It's ridiculous. Let me get changed and then we're gonna head on to the grocery store. I couldn't even wait to shower, man. I had to make breakfast immediately. So I got back from the grocery store and immediately cooked my ground turkey and egg whites with the oatmeal. Measured out some um, measured out some chocolate chips and cranberries and I think glazed walnuts. And then now we're watching the breakfast club. Gonna eat this, then shower up, then head on to the mall. Welcome to another fan. I would say, and it's another episode that gives us, uh, you know, a crew of... He's in traffic, man. The gallery is like 15 minutes away from my house, but this traffic is going to make it probably like a 45 to an hour minute drive, so... Finally made it to the mall. I've been listening to the Fanbros podcast a lot. Like, I don't even listen to music anymore in the car. It's just strictly Fanbros. Just love it, man. Just like hearing about comic books and people's takes on like uh, different superhero movies or even TV shows. It's just really enjoyable. So choose a one. Thank you. I always remember you. Yeah. Those white chips. Oh, you said 11 and a half whenever I came in at first. Yeah, and we didn't have them. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Like, too. All right, so we got the shoes that we needed. It's kind of funny because now everyone at each store kind of knows who I am. So they just kind of like throw out the sizes that I need. They're like, oh, do you need 11, 11 and a half today? I'm like, no, 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 I need a different size. So it's just kind of funny. It's like now you have like kind of a relationship with the people that work at the stores that you get shoes from. It's funny. It feels so good to be done with everything that I need to do in the day before before eight o'clock, like it's seven o'clock right now and the game starts at eight. I feel, you know, refreshed and just the fact that I've got everything finished. Normally on my normal workout schedule, or the schedule I had like a couple, you know, like a week back, like I'd be finishing up my workout and like rushing back home in order to get some stuff done. But now I have free time. I'm gonna start these shoes and it feels good. It feels, feels great, it feels great, it feels amazing. So guys, I just wanna talk quickly about squat every day and like, the reason why you guys have not been seeing me squat lately. Now, I've been getting deeper into this prep and whenever you start to lose a lot of fat, you become, you know, more susceptible to injuries. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm not, you know, lifting as heavy as possible or doing anything like that. Like I have to pull back and scale back and it's just, it takes, it's, it, it'll just take too much, man. Like to recover and then the, the fact that, you know, I have cardio basically every single day and then after on top of that i have to lift and it's just it's just too much man and you have to understand you have to like you know understand your body and know when too much is too much and pull back so 
I'm gonna be squatting every day whenever I get off this prep and I have more fat inside of me and like I'm able to handle everything because I'm not gonna be focusing too much on the bodybuilding portion of the workout. It's gonna be more the geared toward the powerlifting portion and I can get my numbers all the way back up and get ready for a powerlifting meet. But I'm, a, I'm not squatting every day as you guys like to see me do, but it's gonna be coming back, trust me. It's not gonna be the last time that I'm gonna be doing a squat every day. I'm gonna be doing it whenever I'm off this prep. Just gotta be smart about it. Gotta train smart for right now and just focus fully on this prep and make sure that I'm giving my body all the rest that it needs because trust me, I need a lot of rest with all the cardio I'm doing and the high volume workouts I'm doing as well. So this video is coming to the end, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it like always. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.